hello guys welcome back and in this video we are going to discuss about the poem entitled servants once again composed by g patel guys uh, the introduction to the poet i have given in the previous video now in this video introduction to the poem this poem servants has been written by Indian poet G. Patel, and uh, it appeared in New Commonwealth uh, Poets, nineteen sixty five. It uh, is an impressionistic disposition of servants or laborers who have made a home in a distant city, driven by the need to earn a distant living. They live together. in a shack like animals in a chair patel the artist can be seen in the graphic pictures he presents of the orange spot glowing as the shit is smoking and in comparing their picture to that of animals suggestive of cattle resting after a hard hard day labor now guys introduce oh, sorry i have given you introduction now summary of the poem in this poem the author talks about the nature and condition of servants who live in the city he says that they come from an incomplete plot which is a reference to their less than ideal life story which somehow stops in the middle they are people who sell their farming lands and end up working as servants in households and or wards to earn a living in the city they all have the same thing going on in their lives everything from waking up to sleeping is planned the loss of individuality is stressed upon in this poem the author says that the aura around them is dark and they are known and titus say uh, he says that uh, animals have more personality or individuality than the servants are treated less than animals their lives have uh, no purpose they do not dream nor do they have desires they their eyes are blank their mouths hang slightly open uh, without knowing what to do the poem by g patel is like a collection of pictures portraying the appalling condition of the poor in india the poor of india who predominantly work as servants there is no promotion nor there is any reprieve they live like uh, non entities work like animals and sleep like the dead so guys this is the summary of the poem now complete explanation first of all stanza number 1 from line number 1 to 11 they come of peasant stock torrent from an insufficient plot lights are shut off after dinner but the city blur enters peaks modulation on the skin the dark around them is brown and links body to body or a dispelled and the hard fingers glow as smoke is inhaled and the lighted end of the baku becomes an orange spot guys in these lines the poet says that the servants working in the towns belong to farmer 
families. The servants were once farmers. Their father and forefathers were peasants, but now they have small land for farming in their share, which is insufficient for them. They have now abandoned the plot or land that is not large and can no longer support them, and they have migrated to the city in search of a livelihood. The farmers, leaving their occupation, move away from their homeland towards cities in order to find some work so that they may live. In cities, they live together in one room. At night, after day's labor and uh, dinner, lights are turned off, but the city light means the light of streets and vehicles, etc. enter their rooms. Their skin and physical condition also have changed, but they have become habitual of it. There is darkness around them. And uh, it is brown because of smoke. There is little space for them and uh, they have to rest in such a way that their bodies touch to one another. Their fingers have turned hard because of hard work. Their fingers glow in the darkness when they smoke tobacco. And uh, when they inhale the hair, air, the end of the mercury lights up and only orange spots can be seen in their fingers. Guys, uh, there is a pictorial description of servant's life uh, in these lines and it is very remarkable. It seems uh, that uh, he has observed the life of servants closely and uh, these lines are you know, written in blank words. And guys, now line number 12 to 20. Other hands are white or shut. It does not matter on way, one way or other. They sit without thought, mouth slightly open, recovering from the day, and the eyes globe into the dim but are not informed because never have travelled beyond this silence. Guys, in these lines, the poet says that it is not important who is smoking and whose hands are free. In one way or other, they are sitting without thought. They seem thoughtless. The light of intelligence is lacking in them because they are not aware of a better life. Their mouths are opened slightly while sitting and resting after days long work. Their round eye pulse seem to probe the darkness. Globe may be combination of glow and prop. This idea is uh, repeated later when the poet compares their eyes to the eyes of animals in a storm, uh, they look into the dim because they are not capable of thinking some better, some higher in life. They have never gone beyond this kind of life which is repressive and uh, exploited. Guys, now uh, line number 21. To 28. Uh, they sit without thought, mouth slightly open, recovering from the day and the eyes clop uh, into the dim, but are not informed because uh, never have traveled beyond the silence. They sit like animals. I mean, no offense. Uh, I have seen animals resting in the a uh, in the in their stall. The oil flame reflected in their eyes, 
large beards and the protruding actually rest behind the regular grind of the jaws guys uh, uh, the poet says that the servants uh, sit in their free time like animals it means they are thoughtless and without joy or uh, excitement like animals they have no reason to be happy or uh, sad they have a mechanical life besides it they live in a small room just as animals live in shed they rest like animals touching one another's body at night in the dim oil flame their eyes shine just as animals eyes shine in the darkness they continue chewing uh they are eaten food in the same way as uh, animal do they regularly grind the big pieces of food with their jaws uh their chewing movements show them equal to a ruminant animal guys the poet presents us several manners that uh, servants are very close to animals their life conditions and their manners show that uh, they are not better than animals so guys this is a very heart touching and appealing poem you must go through it and uh, took some and take some morals and uh, enjoy this poem thank you